Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we are going to discuss a previous year question which was asked in TCS national qualifier test as i had promised you a lot of free stuff a lot of free guidance would be coming your way and henceforth i am here with this particular video so go ahead follow us on all the social media handles so that you do not miss any update from our side on tcs nqt alongside that comment below this video so that you can stand a chance to win prepinsta prime subscription for free apart from this you'll find group links community links in the description box go ahead join that because if you want this ppt at your end if you want to access this ppt all you need to do is go ahead go below this video comment that you want this ppt and i'll be delivering you this ppt in the community links fine so join those communities join those whatsapp groups you'll be getting these ppts there but if you ask for that fine so if i get around 50 or 60 comments on this video asking for this ppt then i'll be delivering this otherwise not as simple as that so let's dive in deep and let's directly see the question without any wastage of time fine so this is the question so there is an array arr of size n the task is to find the count of elements whose value is greater than all of its prior elements first element of the array should be considered in the count of the result fine an example is given here for example this is the array we'll understand this so i'll show you what exactly the question is asking look what exactly the question is asking is this is your array fine let's let's draw it like this 7 4 8 2 9 9 fine so this is your array in this case what you have to consider is first of all you have to check the numbers who are at a place where before them all the numbers are smaller than them basically jaise 8 hai isse pehle sare numbers isse chote hain fine so we have to find the count of such values before which all the values are lesser than that fine hame aise numbers ka count dhoondna hai is array mein jinse pehle jo नंबर्स दिए हुए हैं वो उससे वैल्यू में छोटे हों ठीक है एंड इन दिस वी हैव टू मैंडेटरीली कंसिडर द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ द एरे फाइन सो फॉर एग्जांपल ऐसे दो एलिमेंट्स आपको यहां दिखेंगे एक एट इन अदर वन इज नाइन बिफोर विच एवरी एलिमेंट इज स्मॉलर इन वैल्यू बट अलॉन्ग विद दैम यू हैव टू कंसिडर दिस फर्स्ट एलिमेंट एज वेल फाइन यू हैव टू मैंडेटरली कंसिडर that this is one element before which every value is smaller than this fine so in this case the answer should be 3 the output should be 3 fine so if i give this as input that 5 is the size of array alongside that i write the values of the array and then i expect output so output comes out to be 3 fine what should be the approach so the approach is very basic here what you have to do is figure out first of all size of array which is n figure out an array where you can store your numbers alongside that figure out an element which stores the maximum element theek hai figure out a variable which stores the value of a maximum variable encountered or the maximum value encountered in your array theek hai once you get it fine we'll understand it through code that will help you better but right now just understand the basic explanation okay so what i am saying is you fix something like this for example int n then arr array fine and you can declare it as you want for example if you want like this five otherwise you do not need to do this even i'll show you how to declare this array fine leave it right now but apart from this ye samjho ki you need to have a variable say m i have a variable m which can actually store the maximum value of array as we are reading it for example you got first value 7 fine so m becomes 7 then you go further 4 now this is the maximum element every time you will check the comparison of it for example you will check whether 4 is greater than m if this is true this greater than sign is quite 
lazy kind of a sign so let's make it in a good manner so this is the sign for greater than fine i have a bad hand writing so please bear it with me but alongside that 4 is greater than m if this is true then update m but right now 4 is not greater than m because m is 7 then 8 is 8 greater than m yes it is true so what you do is you update m is equal to 8 fine so this m is actually keeping the track of the maximum element fine as soon as m gets updated increment the value of a counter say that i have some counter here fine i have one more variable which is say let's have i as a variable which is counter so here i was incremented once i is initially zero i make it one here now when m is again updated you again increment i so i becomes two as soon as you update the value of m update the value of counter fine so now right now we have two such elements before which all the values are smaller than them we go further we find two fine we had read eight we find two when we find two what happens is two greater than m is it true no it's not then we go we read further 9 9 greater than m is it true yes it is true so m is updated as 9 and i is incremented let me write a better i fine so i is incremented in this case what will happen i will become 3 fine i will become 3 so when i becomes 3 that is the output you will present this as the output because you have taken all the values in account you have stored them in the array and you have found the numbers or the values before which every value is smaller than them fine so you have found such elements here so that is how you are going to solve it ab ise code se samajhte hain bahut easy question hai let's check fine however it is termed as a medium category question but once you understand the code then it is everything is super easy fine so let's understand it so is it visible on this yes it is and is this better visible yes this is better visible so let's start writing with this so basic declarations fine then you start writing main int n n is the size of the array c equals to 0 this is the counter variable fine then you declare a another integer variable and then you declare this as your maximum storage variable or where you will store the maximum value fine now in this case what will happen is you have to check what's the size of the array fine so for you if n is the size say n is equal to 4 here fine now you do not need to store the entire array uski koi zarurat hi nahi hai us operation ki you do not need to waste space all you need to do is read every element and check how many elements are there as such where before them every value is smaller than them fine so what we'll do is i have initialized this m with integer minimum which is a macro fine int min is a macro ab isse fayda kya hota let's understand what's the advantage of this whatever element i scan at the first place would be considered greater than m so m would automatically take that value number 1 number 2 m would this was this would lead to increment in c fine we'll see to it wait right now just consider this declaration fine so a is also an integer n is also an integer c is also an integer and m is also an integer fine so now you take the input of n you ask for the size of n when you ask for the size of n say i have given n is equal to 4 so n is now 4 while n minus minus so basically this loop will run for four times until unless the value becomes zero this will keep on running fine so this runs for four times fine now for the first element say let's write input here so the first input you gave was 4 this is the size of array fine you gave this input then the input you gave was 3 fine when you gave 3 as the input i'll write as 
value one. Fine. This was the value one. So what you did was you read it. You took this input. Then if a greater than m. Now you checked if a is greater than m. So a is actually this now. You stored a equals to three. Fine. You took the value in a. Now when a equals to three, you're checking if a is greater than m. So a greater than m is what you have to check. A is three. M is integer minimum. Fine. M is integer minimum. Let me write it here so that you have a better visibility. Fine. So here, when I am checking a greater than m, it is basically three greater than integer minimum. These are the values. Is it true? Yes, this is true. So when this is true. m is equal to a which basically means m would be assigned 3 as the value fine and post this when m is assigned 3 as the value c++ is happening so c becomes 1 because c was 0 here fine so c becomes 1 fine c++ this has executed this has executed now what i'll do is let's let's write these values somewhere i'll use a better color here for the visibility so what we can do is we write m here m is equal to 3 and c equals to 1 right now this is the current status of m and c now let's erase everything else fine and now again let's check i say the next value that you have in the array is 8 fine you have 8 as your value so 8 is the value to fine now 8 is the second value that you get now a is equal to 8 because i have taken value here c in into a fine so a is equal to 8 now when a is 8 again you check the same thing if a greater than m so this loop has to work for four times let's write more values here i am writing 5 and then 9 or not 9 rather i should write a smaller value fine so that we have uh, four fine so in this case you have value 3 and value 4 fine these are the four values now right now we are at this value fine when this value is the input what you have is you will again check a greater than m so when i start checking a greater than m when i start checking this again so here a is actually 8 right now a is 8 here we are on this particular point right now so a is 8 now 8 greater than 3 is it true yes it is true so again this if block works now when this if block works m is equal to m is assigned as 8 counter is incremented so c++ this leads to c is equal to 2 so what i'll do is i'll change the values here itself fine so now m and c have been updated m has become 8 and c has become 2 fine now let's go ahead let's go further and let's check what's happening here fine so we go further we go further here and now a comes here fine so now the value is 5 a equals to 5 when here a equals to 5 we'll check a greater than m so a greater than m is to be checked a is 5 m is 8 is it true no it's not true so this whole if block will not execute fine this whole if block will not execute you will simply go go ahead again move for the other iteration now i go forward and this is the last time because this time a has reached the four, fourth element because after every iteration for the first iteration n was 4 then n became 3 when we came here then n became 2 and now the current value of n is 1 fine so when n is 1 we are executing for this particular value fine i hope you are understanding how loops are working now in this case when n is equal to 1 and a is equal to 
we'll again check for this fine so now a has become 4 and let's check whether we are doing it right or not so a is equal to 4 fine now in this case when a is 4 when we check for a greater than m 4 greater than 8 is it true no it is not true so simply this particular if block this particular if block is not going to work isn't it this is not going to work now the execution of loop is complete because we have run it four times and according to this condition it would have run four times only because n was four initially fine so here this particular block will not work loop execution has finished the final value of c is two now the final output is this c out c basically the output that you will get here let's write the output also fine so the output that you get here is going to be 2 why so because c is 2 so the output that you're going to get is 2 now you can take the code you can take this code exactly and write it out in a compiler fine and when you write it out in a compiler you will find the same results fine now i'll go ahead write this in a compiler and i'll show you that with the same values you will get the same results that we are talking here because if you see carefully if you carefully see what i'm trying to tell you is that this was the array that you had fine three eight five four three eight five and four in this case this was the element fine that was to be considered fine this was to be considered so c would have been incremented at first fine so c was incremented then you came to this element 8 fine this element had all the elements before it which were smaller in value so this also increments c c becomes 2 now when you come to this element any element before this is it greater than 5 yes there exists 8 same goes for here so there were only two elements which you could take into account into this particular array now let's go ahead and let's implement this code into a compiler and let's see whether whatever i am telling you is correct or not fine let's verify it now here in the compiler i have specifically written the same code that we have used here you can check it out it is the same code that i have written here same will be implemented here and let's check whether what we were speaking whether what we were discussing is true or not let's verify it here itself if you carefully see first input that i have given is 4 which is size then 3854 the elements that we had in our array fine 3854 so let's check whether we are right or we are wrong so i'll run the code and let's see what's the output output is 2 so you can see yourself the output that we are getting is 2 henceforth what we had as our output was 2 so the code is correct the output is correct the dry run is correct fine so now if you want this ppt with you if you want to access this ppt all i can say is please go ahead comment below this video that i want this ppt and go ahead join the telegram community join the whatsapp groups there we'll send you but only if i get at least 50 comments asking for this ppt then only i'll be sharing this so keep doing good for others that's all i always say that keep doing good keep spreading the goodness everywhere without any expectation fine good will come back to you in multifold forms that's all i can say for today have a wonderful day ahead thank you